What's up, you guys? Chet Guthrie, the Dream Poet here, coming to you all with my very first complete month of vlogging here in the state of Florida, 30 days straight. This marks a milestone, you guys. When I first said I'd do this way, way back in January, I thought I'd have my screw-ups. I thought I'd have my mistakes, which I did. You know, some nights, some vlogs. I remember one vlog got out at like 6 a.m. in the morning. Wasn't too proud of that. But regardless, I believe you guys can forgive me, and it still falls under a daily vlog. Um, last night, I had a drive back here to the boat. I didn't get back in until 4, 4 in the morning, 4.30. Um, while I was coming down through here, if you're familiar with uh, I-10 going west or east, you know that there are no gas stations out near that area for miles. Well, me, in my inner genius, I thought it would be possible to go out there and, and get through it. No, I almost didn't make it. It was below the E mark. However, I did find a place, managed to stop, managed to gas up, but I can't tell you guys where I was getting kind of tired and driving. I was awake for the rest of the night. Um, I was coming through Perry, uh, Perry, Georgia. Uh, I stopped by there and slept for about two hours, but while I was sleeping, I think the <clears throat> gas station people who were working that night last night I think they may have called the sheriff's department because when I woke up from my nap I saw that there was a sheriff's car like sitting right next to me and he looked like he was just nonchalantly like sitting there but then again maybe not um but anyway this I'm looking forward to making more content you guys um I actually in other news, um, I ha finally had one of my videos taken down for the first time via copyright issue. Um, I thought the songs I were using was, uh, was public domain, but I guess not. Um, I'm going to try to upload the video and put that, you know, the property, you know, who actually owns it. That way I don't get in trouble. Um, what it is, it's my friend's wedding. I'm so happy, you guys. My friend, whose wedding it was from, she and her husband absolutely loved it, and I actually made her cry. And maybe the whole one-up thing about myself is the people that they paid thousands and thousands of dollars for that did their photos, they are still working on editing them. I got my video out in five hours. If I had had the right quality equipment and the right editing software, I would probably be on par with them. Not tooting my own horn, but I guess I am. Um, but yeah. Also, in other news, um, if y'all saw my vlog from yesterday, I was rather angry. Um, I think that automotive business saw my review and I don't think they were too happy about it like I said I'm not going to start too much drama because I'm not going to name the name of the business but um, you know it what goes around comes around um, not too happy that you know they screwed up my AC and they overcharged me on something that didn't need to be replaced that with their recommendation they could have said we're not going to do that or we'll put it back in however have you um the people who i work with thankfully i think the job that i work at they are very understanding they actually thought that i was still down here in florida when my truck broke down they didn't know i was still in tennessee so i showed my assistant manager the bill and I believe tomorrow I'm going to show my actual GM the bill as well. That way, 
They're working with me, guys. I'm happy. Further reason why I believe I'm supposed to be down here. Um, actually, and I've, I've got like some other news too. Um, my refrigerator. Uh, my refrigerator. I thought the power had gotten shut off on me, but it looks like there was some kind of glitch in the power outlet. So, I'm not sure. I mean, my milk smells alright, so I'm going to take that as it's okay. My bananas, on the other hand, they're so soft, but I think they're still edible, maybe. So I'm just happy to be back down here, you guys, and I'll also note something, too. A note for having an amazing mother, a very God-driven woman that has the temperance and patient, patient, the temperance and patience of a saint. Because, um, without her, I would probably still be back in Cleveland, and I would basically still be dealing with this situation. Um, but. You know, that's the that's news that stays between me and her, but, uh, yeah, you guys, I'm just glad that I'm back down here. Time to start vlogging again. However, next time, next time, I go back, oh, hello, next time I go back, I'm flying. Uh, I, I can't do that again, but uh, that's just personal news. So you guys, I think I'm going to wrap this up as a vlog for today. One whole month here in the state of Florida. I've made it this far and I'm happy. So remember, keep up with me at Dream Poet at Facebook and at my Instagram in the links below. Thank you all for the love and support. I love you all very much. Peace, guys.